Welcome back everyone to another video and in this one I will be taking a look at the Firefox OS on the Android platform. Now Firefox developed this operating system to come as a standalone OS on regular devices mostly targeting the lower end market. But these devices uh, really failed to catch on and now we can actually use this operating system as a launcher on our Android devices. So this is available directly from Firefox and I will leave a link in the description. But for now let's take a look. All we have to do is go ahead and change our launcher and that would be it. Once I touch the home screen button it will uh, power up the Firefox OS as a launcher and we will see it running. Now a few things to note this is supposed to be very buggy as these are just experimental builds although the uh, operating system itself failed there are active development going on uh, for this operating system so let's take a look this is our main page uh, this does not have any home screen so it's sort of like uh, iOS but it scrolls vertically that's the only difference now it is a very buggy you can see there are a lot of missing um, screens and we can of course see uh, it is lagging a lot so this tends to happen from time to time apart from that the only second screen is where you can pin web pages if you scroll uh, slightly diagonally it will does tend to change the page so this is one of the bugs that i am talking about uh, it's not a very ironed operating system it's not very stable nothing for daily use but it's fun as an experimental OS. So first of all, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings and what version I am currently running. So this is the settings page and on device, I am running boot to Gecko 2.6 uh, pre-release. Of course, as I said, these are experimental builds. So we have our uh, dedicated home key and long press uh, and long pressing that key gives us the multitasking window so um it does come with market and i have installed some apps most of them are web based apps so they will actually open up uh, in sort of a web view environment and this one is actually uh, installable application as you can see uh, the size is mentioned so if it is a web based app it will say it does not work offline as well as it will have a size uh, so let's go ahead and open up a few applications so I have installed swoop as you can see there are two swoop application but the one that has the plane is the one that runs inside the Firefox OS itself and the other one is the Android app so the Android app works perfectly fine on my phone but as you will notice the Firefox app is actually using WebGL instead of OpenGL and it tends to be very laggy and has a considerable uh, delay in response to my touch. And again you will have to bear with me a little bit uh, as I won't be able to turn this orientation so that is how we are running it's very laggy and loses a lot of frames so let's go back and check out some other applications so soundcloud is an application see this is the sort of glitch i was talking about soundcloud is an application but it fails to uh, play any music and it sort of seems to have um lost interest in this platform and has uh, decided not to support it anymore so there is another game now this is a web based one it's not installable um and this is just a small game as, as you can see it does run smoothly but the issue is that uh, it seems to have a very low resolution and check out a few more inbuilt applications on uh, this platform so we have our phone now the phone application won't work because network is not available uh, not 
as for me but uh, on my device but inside this uh, Firefox OS environment it doesn't really get uh, the network access the music app is there but doesn't seem to load any songs and the video application is there and it also seems to be doing nothing let's and there is no dedicated camera app so that's that the only app I found very useful and uh, you know it looks great functions well is the clock app and that's about it so there is not a lot to this operating system it is very buggy but it was fun trying it out and having another experience I've also done this on the Raspberry Pi so I will link that too in the video and that is about it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one don't forget to like share subscribe and comment